So you want to study A-level maths, do you? Great! We'd love to have you join us. It's tough. It's fun. It's engaging. Did I say it was tough? Yeah, but it being tough actually means it's one of the most prestigious A-levels out there. Highly regarded. Um, and if you get any grade at A-level maths, you've done very well. Obviously, we'd like you to get the best grade you can. So let's talk about uh, what that would entail, what you might meet whilst you're doing A-level maths, and how it's all broken up. So it looks like this. You can see half of it is pure, and then a quarter mechanics and a quarter statistics. So it's quite diverse. That's quite a wide range of skills that you'll have to use there and that you'll be learning. But what is that pure? What's pure maths? Let's have a look. So, oh. You'll be doing some integration. You'll be using symbols on your calculator that you've never known what they were. You've seen them, you might have even pushed them, but do you know what they were doing? This one's integration. It helps to find us areas. So you'll learn all about that in pure maths. Angles. Angles make a comeback. Okay, we'll do some trigonometry, but We've been hiding something from you. When you were doing your GCSEs, you've only ever used degrees. But there's more than one way of measuring an angle. Just like there's more than one way of measuring length. Meters, inches, miles, uh, other ones. There's more ways of measuring angles. We'll tell you about those if you come and join us in A-level maths. Graphs. Uh, make a big comeback. There's loads of graphs. Uh, you'll be you'll be able to sketch them. You'll be able to recognise them. Hopefully, you might recognise this one is looking. I don't know. It looks a little bit broken, kind of like a parabola, a quadratic that you might have seen at GCSE. But I don't know. Then you'll find out what's happened to that graph in the pure part available maths. Now in GCSE, you've been looking at areas. You can do areas of circles, semicircles, seems like a logical step after that. Um, any other shapes with curved edges? No, I think it's just circles. But in A-level maths, you can find the area of any shape. If you can plot it, you can find its area. We'll be looking at how you do that. Oh, and if you can find its area, you can find its volume. And if you can find volume, that means you can probably make it in 3D. And if you can make it in 3D, you could design it. And then it could become something. So maths is, is the forerunner to all of these design elements that one day you could be creating. And adding up. Okay, we do do some adding up in A-level maths as well. Um, but not like in GCSE when it's just a few terms, maybe some algebraic ones, maybe a few numeric ones. Maybe it's a mixture of decimals and fractions. Nope, this will be adding on forever. What happens if you keep on adding numbers on in a certain pattern? forever. We'll look at that too in the pure part of A-level maths. So there's this mechanics section. Don't be, don't be alarmed, you're not going to be going under cars or anything. It's more to do with the way things move and the way we interact with the world. Or more particularly, the way objects interact with surfaces. The way that a ball will drop onto a floor. Will it bounce? Will it slide down a slope if it's icy? What's different about an icy slope and a tarmac slope? Also, if you shot a bullet, we'll find out why. When you shoot a bullet and drop one simultaneously, they both land on the floor at the same time. Doesn't sound like it's true, does it? But it can be proven with maths. Unfortunately, well, no, fortunately, we won't be doing an experiment of that one, but we can certainly do something similar. Maybe with a Nerf gun. And then the stats part, we'll be finding out why not everybody can be exceptional. Sorry to say it, some of you are, but definitely not all of you. What it takes to be above average, below average, and how you might use that to find uh, probabilities and to find outliers and to find cheaters even. We'll be looking at how many cream eggs you have to buy in order to win that coveted white cream egg. If you bought 200, what are the chances of having two winners in there? If you bought a thousand, 
What are the chances of having two more or less? We'll find out. No gambling will be taken part. No gambling in any lessons. And vaccines. We'll be looking at why, uh, what it takes for a vaccine to be successful. If it works on 50% of the people, is that good? Will that do? 80%? Yeah, that's fine. Will that, is, that, is that a successful vaccine? 99%? We'll look at what makes uh, a real success um, and how you can use stats and data to tell stories as well in diagrams that you've probably already read. You, you probably already know some of them. Um, and how they can be used to tell lies. We'll be telling some lies with statistics as well. Data is being gathered as we speak. As you listen to this, something is being recorded. We know exactly how long you've been listening for. It'll tell us whether you stopped listening after three minutes or two minutes. And then we could change our next video to make it more exciting at the two minute mark so that you keep on watching. Hopefully you're still here listening to this. But stats tells us all of those things. Gathering data and what to do with it is something that you will be doing later on in life. If you do um, psychology, biology, geography, anything that collects information, then that will be useful for you. We also offer A-level further maths. It's double the amount of maths, but with about 10% of the students, maybe even less. Um, but if you'd like to join further maths, you'll be doing um, twice as much maths every week. So as well as learning A-level maths, you'll be learning, you'll be taking those same ideas and just pushing them further. So it will support uh, and back up all of the maths from A level um, and just taking it like it says further. So there's a similar breakup, half of it's pure and then a quarter is further mechanics and a quarter is further statistics. Um, if you've got anything you'd like to know about any of these courses, get in touch with us. Um, we'd love to hear from you. See you next year.